But the real revelation here is Lady Gaga. Known for her larger-than-life persona and pop stardom, she steps into the role of Harley Quinn with both ferocity and nuance. Her Harley is not just the manic pixie we've seen in previous iterations, but a deeply wounded, complex woman who is drawn to Arthur's madness because it mirrors her own. Gaga taps into Harley's vulnerability, making her transformation from Harleen Quinzel into the Joker's accomplice all the more heartbreaking and believable. Watching her unravel is a tragic, fascinating journey, and she holds her own in scenes opposite Phoenix's mesmerizing Joker. A Musical Journey into Madness One of the film's boldest creative choices is its musical elements, yes, Joker, Folie A Tilde Du is, in part, a musical. This decision could have easily derailed the movie, but instead, it works to brilliant effect, turning key moments into surreal, fever dream sequences that plunge us deeper into the minds of these characters. The musical numbers don't feel forced, they're extensions of the characters' inner worlds, distorted, vibrant, and utterly unhinged. Phillips uses music as a tool to convey their shared delusions, blending reality and fantasy until it's impossible to tell what's real. These numbers range from darkly comedic to emotionally harrowing, with Lady Gaga's vocal talents adding an extra layer of intensity to Harley's more expressive moments. The duet scenes between Joker and Harley, particularly during their violent, manic love ballad, are as haunting as they are captivating. Visually stunning, a gritty, psychedelic Gotham. One thing that remains consistent with the original Joker film is its impeccable visual style. Lawrence Sher returns as the cinematographer, painting Gotham City with the same grimy, desaturated palette that made it feel like a decaying, living organism. However, Joker, Folie A. Tilda Du adds new layers to this world, with splashes of vibrant color and surrealist imagery reflecting the character's descent into madness. Joker, Folie A. Tilda Du, a twisted dance of madness and melancholy. When Joker, 2019, hit theaters, it shattered expectations and redefined what a comic book villain could be on the big screen. The transformation of Arthur Fleck into Gotham's notorious criminal was a raw, disturbing journey through mental illness, isolation, and society's disregard for the downtrodden. Now, in Joker, Folie A. Tilda Du, director Todd Phillips returns to delve even deeper into the dark, chaotic mind of the clown prince of crime, but this time, he brings an unexpected partner to the dance of madness, Harley Quinn. A twisted symbiosis, two minds, one madness. Fully A Tilda Du refers to a psychological phenomenon where delusions or mental illness are shared between two individuals, and this title sets the stage for the story's heart, the toxic, symbiotic relationship between Arthur Fleck, Joaquin Phoenix, and Harleen Quinzel, Lady Gaga. The film builds on the emotional and psychological groundwork laid in the first Joker, showing us not just the continuation of Fleck's descent into chaos, but the rise of Harley Quinn from an ambitious psychologist to a tragic figure consumed by love and madness. What immediately resonated with me was the film's exploration of codependency, obsession, and the ways in which trauma can tether two individuals together, warping their reality. Phillips doesn't hold back in showing how Flex mania infects Harley, with their relationship acting as both a twisted love story and a tragic illustration of shared delusion. Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga, a match made in madness. One of the most captivating elements of Joker, Folie A. Tilda Du is the electric chemistry between Phoenix and Gaga. Phoenix once again delivers a powerhouse performance, bringing a terrifying vulnerability to Arthur Fleck. His portrayal of Joker continues to resonate with raw intensity, he's a man both terrifyingly unpredictable and tragically human. Phoenix's ability to oscillate between moments of eerie calm and explosive chaos keeps viewers on edge, unsure whether to feel pity or revulsion. In contrast to the gritty realism of the first film, this sequel leans into the surreal, particularly during the musical sequences. There are moments where Gotham transforms into a psychedelic nightmare, clownish colors smeared across the screen like a demented painting, reflecting the increasingly fractured state of Joker and Harley's minds. The film's visual language evolves as their relationship grows darker, more chaotic, and more dangerous, creating a visual feast that feels as unstable as its protagonists. Themes of mental illness and the fallout of society's neglect at its core, Joker, Fully A Tilda Du is still very much about mental illness and society's failure to care for its most vulnerable. While the first film explored Arthur Fleck's personal spiral into madness, this sequel expands that lens, examining how mental illness can spread, how trauma can bond people in destructive ways, and how the lines between victim and villain blur. There's a powerful message embedded in the story about how broken systems, whether mental health care, societal structures, or personal relationships, can lead to devastating consequences. 
While Joker, fully a tilde do doesn't try to justify or romanticize the violence, it holds a mirror up to a world that often ignores or trivializes the suffering of individuals until it's too late. The dynamic between Joker and Harley is the embodiment of this. Harleen begins the film as a professional, a psychologist meant to help others. But as her infatuation with Arthur grows, so does her disregard for ethics and boundaries. The film asks important questions, how much responsibility does society bear for those who fall through the cracks? And at what point does someone like Harley stop being a victim of circumstance and become complicit in their own downfall? Critique, a pacing issue in the mid-act. While Joe, the inclusion of musical elements, though mostly effective, may also prove divisive for some audiences. Those expecting a straightforward follow-up to the original Joker might find the musical detours jarring, though they ultimately serve a deeper thematic purpose. Still, it's a bold move that risks alienating a segment of the audience. Conclusion, a daring, dark evolution of the Joker mythos. Joker, fully a tilde do is a daring and ambitious sequel that takes risks, and for the most part, those risks pay off. It's a psychological thriller, a musical, a love story, and a tragedy all rolled into one. Todd Phillips and his cast have crafted a film that's as provocative and unsettling as its predecessor, but with an added emotional depth brought by the twisted love story at its center. Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga are a dynamic, electrifying pair, their performances pulsating with the kind of manic energy that draws you in, even as the story spirals further into darkness. The film's exploration of shared delusion, mental illness, and societal neglect feels disturbingly relevant, making Joker, fully a tilde do more than just a follow-up. It's a sharp, introspective look at the chaotic forces that drive us, bind us, and ultimately break us. For those willing to embrace the madness, Joker, fully a tilde do is a fascinating, unsettling journey into the minds of two of pop culture's most iconic figures, offering a grim reminder of what happens when love and insanity collide.